Welcome to this vlog. Four days out? Yeah, four days out. Probably two days since I last recorded, so I don't know how this footage is all gonna come together. I have. Yay! Hey. I have Brittany here today. Hello. This is like my first peak week workout with somebody. Really? Yeah. But okay. she's not, she's doing chesticles, Boom. which I could do some moves. I mean, it's shoulder day. So we're training at LAC today, because she made me. I'm sorry. <laughs> after my fourth deplete day. So after sending this check-in to my coach, Jason Theobald, we decided that it was enough of the deplete and that we were moving into a loading zone here. So we're going into a loading day, which is gonna be a high carb day, high fat day, and moderate protein, and we're gonna go into my last chance workout. Good morning and welcome to Wednesday. Uh, sorry, I did not film much of my workout yesterday. I got a couple of clips um, at LAC, but it was just crowded and I wanted to spend time with my friends over there and I was training with them, so they were kind enough to get a couple clips, but this is gonna be the final wrap up my peak week series because this morning I just found out that today will be my last workout. So it's like my last supper. We are loading today. I did not expect to load this early, um, but he wants to go ahead and push forward with a load. We are starting to introduce carbohydrates now after my deplete. So I depleted for Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. So four day deplete where I had pretty much trace carbs. So I was pretty much under uh, 30 to 40 grams of carbs every day. And my proteins were pretty high and my fats were higher but now we are loading with more carbohydrates and also more fat. I'm going to move around some blood here. I've got two movements per body part for my upper body only, and then I've got 20 minutes of posing practice. I did not bring my heels, I forgot. I'm a terrible competitor, apparently, but I can pose in flat shoes, that's fine too. So, two supersets of each upper body muscle, so back, chest, shoulders, biceps, triceps, 15 reps, three sets only, and then put a fork in me and we will be almost done with this whole entire peak week. So tomorrow we'll just be resting, Friday we'll just be resting, and I've got Miguel filming for us uh, the final conclusion to this chapter. So hope you guys enjoy the rest of this workout and hope you guys have enjoyed this peak week series. But 
I've been able to put together over the course of multiple, multiple videos and multiple, multiple clips of all kinds of different days. All right, so let's go ahead and get this workout started. So the first workout had an edit with it with some music, so I figured I would give you guys a little bit of a voiceover here, talking a little bit about a last chance workout. What I mean by that is it's basically my last workout before this stage. So we are loading carbohydrates and fats. So the goal here is to just basically get some blood moving around, get the nutrients to the muscle and just get them as full as possible now that the system is being reintroduced with carbs and higher fat intake than I had previously. So the concept here is that we're just hitting two, mus two movements per muscle group in the upper body. So again, we're letting my legs not be trained at this point because we're letting those get reduced inflammation and so those come in tighter on stage and then the upper body we started off with two back movements now we're going into two chest movements i'll go into two shoulder movements so you see how i started with the larger muscles of the upper body first then went into the shoulders and i'm going into biceps and triceps all movements for the upper body have been with three sets to 15 reps. So we're going with a moderate set range, nothing too overextending, and then we're going with a high rep range of 15. Um, essentially, I'm trying not to go till failure. So I picked all weight sources and all machine sources that would allow me to finish the set with like three to four reps still in the tank. Essentially, I'm only working at an RPE of six to seven on a scale of one to 10. 10 being difficult. So the goal here is I mainly did pick a lot of machine and cable movement because that is gonna be easiest on the joints. And I, if I did choose a dumbbell movement, I chose one that I was actually very familiar with and that I had been doing throughout my entire program. I was not chasing a level of soreness the next day. In fact, that's the opposite of what I'm looking for. I'm actually looking to not create any new neural adaptations. So new neural adaptations would come from introducing new movements into my peak week program. So I've stuck to the same traditional movements that I've had throughout my entire program. And the goal here is actually to chase the pump. So unfortunately, the pump is not that great because I am very, very depleted still from two, four days of depleting. However, the goal is to, like I said, move nutrients into the muscle cell. So the goal is to get muscle glycogen levels up higher, which is through carbohydrate intake and increase intramuscular triglycerides, which is through your increased fat intake. Now this workout, I wanted to show you guys, but I didn't actually want to have you guys replicate it in your own way. Um, I actually don't typically recommend doing your entire upper body in one day. Um, it can be pretty taxing and I don't think you get as much volume per muscle group as you need. But if you did want to replicate this workout, if you were somebody who for time efficiency reasons does need to do an entire upper body day, you could obviously spend more time in the bigger muscle groups. So by increasing your sets. So here I was doing three, you could go to four, potentially five in your chest and back. So you could get a little bit more overload and volume in those two bigger muscle groups. And then of course with your RPE, you can train at a higher RPE than I've been going about things. You can train till failure for many of your sets and get a really effective workout from these movements. So while you could replicate components of this workout, I just wanted to specify that it's probably not best to replicate this entire workout in its entirety, unless you were planning on stepping on this stage. We got three meals in the tank now, and I'm doing my midday check-in with coach since it's load day. We're gonna do some midday check-ins. And I've got three meals down, I've got two more to go. And I'm gonna go get these nails done. Oh my God, they're terrible. Workout went great. Got my car detailed. That was my prep present to my husband and it hasn't been detailed since we bought it probably. And so I wanted to do something nice for him and something that he would appreciate at the close of my prep. So I got our car detailed. So if you're a member at the Katie Hearn Gym and you need your car detailed, Martin has a great car detailing company. He's an employee there. Um, he works part-time there at the Katie Hearn Gym, but he also works part-time car detailing. So little shameless plug for Martin. I'm gonna close out this final portion before show day. So you guys are gonna have to stay tuned for the show day footage. Oh my God, I can't believe it's here. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Thumbs up. <laughs> Subscribe to my channel, hit that little notification bell so you never miss a video from me, and I will see you guys on show day. Bye bye.